Hi, I'm Dave Cardger. Welcome back to Turner Classic Movies. Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer was a studio best known for its musicals and ultra-glamorous pictures. A rare exception from MGM is the classic film noir we have up next. From 1946, it's The Postman Always Rings Twice. Based on a novel by James M. Cain, it tells the story of Frank, a lonely drifter played by John Garfield, who helps a wealthy older man with his gas station and diner. Frank quickly runs into trouble with his new boss's beautiful young wife, played by a never more sultry Lana Turner. Kane's novel was first published in 1934, the same year that the Hollywood production code was fully enforced. The book certainly had movie potential and several studios showed interest in snapping up the film rights, but the topics of adultery and murder proved too much for the usually tougher studios of Columbia and Warner Brothers. Ultimately, MGM bought the rights, but made no immediate plans to use them. Instead, two film versions of the novel were produced in Europe, one in France called The Last Turn from 1939, and another in Italy called Obsession from 1943. MGM changed their tone when Paramount scored a mega hit with 1944's Double Indemnity, another James M. Cain story. The studio immediately went into full swing with this production, casting one of their hottest stars, Turner, and borrowing John Garfield from Warner Brothers. The result was one of the studio's biggest moneymakers of the year. Also starring Cecil Kellaway and with direction by Tay Garnett, here is The Postman Always Rings Twice. Lana Turner later said that the character of Cora was the role I liked best. Author James M. Cain had always envisioned Turner in the part, and even went to the actress directly to tell her so. He was so pleased with her portrayal of his heroine that he sent her a leather-bound copy of his novel with the inscription, For My Dear Lana, Thank You For Giving a Performance That Was Even Finer Than I Expected. The performance brought Lana Turner to a whole new level of stardom. From then on, she was not just an MGM glamour girl, but a fine, dramatic actress. Over the next 15 years, she would deliver strong turns in The Bad and the Beautiful, Imitation of Life, and her Oscar-nominated performance in Peyton Place. Stick around for another crime story, this one not quite so dark, a classic heist comedy starring the Rat Pack.